the nigga. Show me the fucking money. <laughs> and let me tell you something, Paddy Pimblet. If you want the smoke, my brother, you be prepared because I'm gonna fuck you up, my brother. 100%. Motherfucker hey. deserve to be on the top 15, that's It's the great. truth. Still yeah. 15, my brother. Everything. Chill out. You know my cara number 10, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck out, my brother. Well, you know the you still have work to do, my brother. Best podcast in the business. The name is Show Me The Money. Welcome back to the Show Me The Money podcast, and today we have a very special announcement. We have now signed a partnership with Fliff, which is a sweepstakes social sports book available pretty much everywhere in the United States. We are going to put that in the description for you guys on YouTube and Spotify. You can now tail Moicano's picks, my picks, maybe Gilbert if he gives you some picks, and you can tail everything we want to bet on the UFC cards right in the, in the Swift Sportsbook app. So you guys go check that out there. Click the link in the description, and you're actually going to get a sign-up bonus right away. So let's dive into the show. How much? You're signing bonus. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about money. How much for you, bro? How much you want? Tell, tell these guys what they have to do first. At, first thing. at, least, at least fucking 50. 15 or 50? No, no, 50. 50 what? 50% bonus discount, right? In Bitcoin or cash? Cash. <laughs> and tell these guys what they have to do. Subscribe, share, <laughs> comment, and like. Let's fucking go, my brother. <laughs> All right, so today we are here with, of course, Moicano and Gilbert, but we have a very special guest, my guy, RoboCop. I have to ask you right off the bat, bro, how close was the submission? I have oh, to man. know. <laughs> man, like every, every round, like... I, When I look into the other side, I say, I'm gonna kill this. <laughs> <laughs> But I try so hard, man. The dude is damn. The guy is very tough, yeah. tough fighter, man. Yeah. He uh I put it everything there, you know. I I look him I never I never I don't like it to hold a fight for win by you know, by point. Yeah. If you see like when the 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 fight end, I was a little bit disappointed, you know, because I wanted to finish. Yeah. yeah. I was looking for it. But uh, of course, I'm so happy. You know, I'm very happy with the win. You get the win. But man. always, always, uh, I want more. I, I know we can do more. You know, 100%. Well, but, dude, you look, you looked fantastic. I mean, you, you, you won every round, right? All three rounds. Yeah, yeah all easy three rounds. And honestly, even on the feet, easy money. You took it to the ground, easy money. I mean, you looked great the whole yeah. fight. So. I'm happy to say I still won a good bit of money on you. I think Gilbert was pissed at me. I was. I, I want to kill this guy. Right after your fight, I sent Gilbert and Moicano a group text, and I was like, I was like, bro, because I thought the read was spot on, right? I even said on Instagram, I was like, Robocop by sub. He liked the comment, so I was like, ah, right, he's going for it, right? I was like, he's going for it. Inside your And then the whole fight, I mean, he probably had, what, 10, 12 minutes of control time? The, yeah. So I was yeah, just, yeah, yeah. I was optimistic, right? Yes, yes. Now, I did put a big bet on him. He was completely disrespected as the underdog. Yes. You know, that, that was just unbelievable for him to be the underdog in that matchup, right? He's just fought way better guys yes. in the UFC. Yeah. So I think that was kind of crazy. So we were able to take advantage of win the big bet on the money line. Yeah. But I, I, the ticket I was excited about was when Patty won by sub right after him, that would have paid 100 bands. Oh, <laughs> if he got sub I mean, in Patty so sub. So if, if he got that so sub in round three. Gregory Rodriguez over here. <laughs> Literally, bro. he made you lose 100k. Yeah. That's what hey, you're what, saying. Hey, what are you I talking was, about, man? You, you hey. didn't put the money on me. Uh, yeah, I you don't put the money on me. I don't put money on you because I can't uh, bet. But if I could, I would, my brother. Yeah, no, show, when man. this guy texted me, look at me, that, bro. Look at that. When yeah. this guy texted me and said, Why did he guy did it went to the sub? I would just, I wouldn't kill him. Just like, nah, man, nah, nah. Don't look at this guy. Bro. Read this the guy. message. Read it word for word. What did you say? I want to know what did if the audience or you guys take offenses. What did you say? respectful, bro. Boy, what did I, you all say? All I said was he was so close. He had his back. I said he was had his back. He was so I close. Bro, I was so like mad that. at this guy. <laughs> I can tell Gilbert was pissed at me, bro. But that's what I like this about This guy Gilbert. said his say. Sticks up for his guys. <laughs> I said anything bad. Gilbert was I need Robocop to jump on these dudes. Back for a submission. <laughs> just unreal. It was a hundred thousand, bro. And I, I, I even answered. It's still funny. I said, bro, he make the guy look like Ali. <laughs> 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 and Maddie then, say that Maddie say that no, 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 I said, that. And don't then tell, he said don't tell and then he said bro, that, bro he has so many opportunities for the choke I had a chance to 
I had a chance at 100,000 parlay, and I went crazy. I said, you think it's easy? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? This guy's fighting for his life over there. I said, nah, bro, I'm just a de degenerate gambler. I'm happy that he won. And then I, I said, fun. I'm getting mad at you, bro. You keep oh saying this. God, bro. <laughs> hey, Gary, but, but let me ask you uh, something. Your, your opponent, he is very well known by the kickboxing, right? Like spinning back kicks, yeah. like flying knees. I and think the Taekwondo or something. He, he like was that. from Taekwondo? I think so. Yeah, and the, the thing that was worrying me, it's because sometimes you don't, you have a high, high, high level jiu-jitsu and you compete jiu-jitsu a long time, but usually, <laughs> look at Lee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how this gonna kill us, but, bro? <laughs> but usually you don't shoot for takedowns a lot on the fight. You're becoming more a striker. So what was your game plan to shoot for the takedowns? Because su th that fight surprised me a lot because you are giving a beat on him on the feet. So that yeah. was your game plan for the fight. Yeah, I mean, like, um, you know, I think it, I get a much more maturity right now in my in my career, you know, and then I know I'm a very rounded guy. I can fight in everywhere, you know, striking on the ground. And uh, if you look at, if you look in the division, you know, uh, the type style I have, man, I can beat everybody now, you know. And now, especially now after this fight, it's going to be very hard, you know, to study my fights. Like, how do a, a game plan to beat me? Because I can take him down. I can shoot. I can work on my jiu-jitsu, my ground and pound stuff. I can fight on top. I know I scare, I scare everybody. I know I scare everybody. You know, I can, I can fight with anybody. So... Yeah, but now for this, especially for this fight, you know, I saw he fought Petrosian. Yes. And Petrosian mm -hmm. is amazing striking, amazing kickboxing. And then if you see the fight, Petrosian took him down. Petrosian is not a wrestler. And I said, man, this guy is going to go in down for sure. Mm -hmm. So I said, man, I will, I will do a fight. I put him in a deep water because when he stands up, he's gone. And that's what happened. You know, the first round, I yeah. took him down. I make him look like a <laughs> Yeah, but, but, but let me tell you something. One thing that surprised me, surprised me a lot was not like he was not... Uh, because sometimes yeah. the, the guy is a striker. And then you're giving him a beat on the strike. And he's going to shoot for takedowns. But it was not like he was trying to take down and stop him. He became like Khabib. Right? Man, he became yeah. Khabib. He was like, man, yeah. single yeah. legs, like chain wrestling. And I said, yeah. what the fuck is going on? This no, guy never fight. went for a takedown. Never and against did. Robocop, he was yeah. Yeah. But dying. During, but during the fight, in the, sec in the second, when it started the second round, I started like punching him really hard. And then he tried to... To hold me, you know, to take me down. <laughs> I thought, man, what is this guy doing? <laughs> but it was uh, crazy, you know. Whenever like, he shot the takedown, I was like, I was praying for the guillotine. Uh, I was like, is this coming? Yeah, <laughs> but, you know, like, I was, I bleeding a lot, man. It was just so much blood. Uh, yeah. And yeah. it was slipping, you know, yeah. like, yeah. very. Whenever, whenever we were a kid, you ever play with, like, a lot of water and soap that's kind of, like, it's sliding. You yeah, play. it's when, hard. When when you're fighting MMA and the guy eats, the guy's bleeding a lot, no submissions. He's going to yeah. be so slippery that, like... He's so slippery, it's yeah. It's impossible, yeah. Right. I, yeah. Let me ask you another thing. Since you guys fought, fought on Manchester, right? And he's a he's an English guy. So did you feel pressure or, or, or something? Like, the, the crowd was in his favor? How do you feel? About fighting on the home, opponent's hometown, man. I, I I always was very nice for me. Man, there was the amazing crowd I've ever yeah. seen in my life, man. Manchester guy is so crazy. But I didn't know like the fight was very early, like very like you yeah. know like four a.m. Man, oh, Every, yeah, yeah. The the, the crowd was kind of. I don't you know. were sleeping, right? <laughs> <laughs> but that was I crazy. I didn't thought about that. It was another time zone. Yeah. That was crazy, crazy. But yeah. for me, it was good because I, I, I tried to keep it the same time as here, and uh, I didn't. I was like, like a week. I didn't see like a morning, morning. You know, I, yeah. I, I you were like sleeping at day. No, this time. Yeah, yeah. Um, I train. I start training like at three a.m., three, three thirty, and then like five, I went to the bed. Wake up like 3 p.m. Oh, wow. Yeah, how, no far, morning. how far out did you start doing that? Uh, I started as soon as I arrived there gotcha. because the time didn't change, you know. Like, uh, yeah. It's like I went to the bed there like like 4. It's, it's, it's like 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 p.m. here. Sunday, yeah. 
What day? You, you went Sunday? I yeah, I flew out there Sunday and I arrived there Monday. I'm asking you because I'm going to fight in France. You so do so same, yeah. do you think it's better not try to acclimate, not try to be on that time? Yeah, depend depends how depends the, how, how it's gonna be. Yeah, what depends the fight, depends what, what time, time is gonna the be the fight. Ah, yeah. You gotta it's, as soon as you go there. Yeah, my advice is you gotta financial advice. No, as soon as you get there, you gotta know hey, what time I'm fighting. Yeah, okay. and make your schedule around. Yeah, that. I don't care about it. It's depending the time you're because gonna fight. Whenever I saw, uh, uh, was the ch Leon Edwards saying, "Oh, I got very tired, this and that." I'm just like, bro, you like didn't do your homework, you know? You're gonna fight. He knew at it. At home, like, yeah, for sure. He lives in Birmingham. That's gonna maybe an hour, two hours yeah. away. Easy money. I don't think more than that. And then this guy know the car is there at 6 a.m. Bro, you got to start acclimating, training at that time. Change your whole thing. It's like we we entertainers. We are fighters, but we inter we entertainers. So you think about a guy go to the Olympics there in France right now, and he come back and say, oh, I lost because I was tired. The chain, bro, it's our responsibility to acclimate in there. Yeah. So and I was very happy because... I was talking to Ali, and then remember last week you tried to get Manel Capi, Bilal, a couple guys on the pod. And then I talked to Ali, how it's going to be? He said, bro, this time the guy's going to be sleeping. I will see if Giga will be up because they're going to try to keep the timing that they are. Like if they're in California, if they're in Vegas, if they're in Florida, they're going to try to stick with yeah. that time because yeah. the fight day is going to be like yeah. between 3 a.m. Yeah. and 6 a.m. And I said, oh, wow. So, yeah. But he knew already. But every time they go to a different, especially Abu Dhabi, like Abu Dhabi, I think you fight mm -hmm. 6 a.m. over there. Australia, too, you fight the, when I was in Australia last year for the, when Strickland fought Adesanya, I got there to the fights. You know what, what day is the fights there? The fights there is Sunday, 6 a.m. When wow. they start totally the different, yeah. Wow. So you're going to be fighting Sunday, 10 a.m. So you got to. Yeah. First, if you're a fighter, you're going to a different place fighting. Try to a uh, first day yeah. or before you get there. What time you think I'm gonna be fighting? What time the card goes on? In Brazil, it's the same. You go to Brazil, you're gonna fight five, four a.m., three a.m. The cards there is too late. So that was a good thing for you to yeah. know. And I, I had no idea yeah. that Leon Earth didn't know that was gonna happen. You know. Yeah, and I felt I felt myself very good. You know, the time didn't change. My body was great. You yeah, go so back, you just keep the same time and then I went back here. Don't nothing anything. happened. Nothing. Yeah. 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 Do Do you bring your family to the fight? No, no. I, you do. You never do that. No. That sometimes, yeah. But like with my daughter, yeah, and my wife. But my wife is prefer. She doesn't want the fights. So and then she prefers to stay home. But now for for that fight, like far away, long travel. Yeah. But she, she, yeah, she can. She she go in some some more fights. Not this one. Did you guys see what see what Tom Aspinall said about his sleep schedule? Did you see no. what he said? No. Did you see what Tom said? No. no. It was like he he tried to like take a nap or sleep, and he said he just stayed up for four hours. He said he was on twenty two hours no sleep by the time he ended up fighting. Wow. They, really? I think I think it, Curtis Blades fight. Uh, some more fighters than their card. The England guys they 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 got a a sleeping coach. Really? To, yeah, to how yeah. to teach a thing, how to do it. Wow, the so transition. Gotta, gotta I, mean, yeah. I, I have been yeah. in fights that I could, I could not sleep before the fight. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's crazy what Aspinall was able to do after 22 hours in their sleep. Yeah, but that was an easy fight bro. for him. Let's yeah, be honest. That was the yeah. first round, and you don't even get tired. Yeah, that first. Yeah, that was a two minutes, yeah. one minute. You don't even get. What tired. did you? So, yeah. what did you think about? Because Curtis came out after the fight and said. You know, I landed on him a little bit. I got overly excited, and I threw out the game plan. I didn't see that. I see him being knocking, yeah. knock it out and fast. I, and I think the he judge, touched Don Spinal. He got him with like a one-two early, but like, uh, yeah, but like in the first thirty early. seconds, yeah. Yeah. I just think he was out. I think when when I was looking at the stoppage, I was just like, that was early. Maybe let me see it again. Then yeah. when they showed the replay, he landed on the. On the halfway position, right? And then his leg went down like twice. He, yeah. So he was off and then he came back. He was out. I think that was that was not an early stoppage. Yeah. I think it was an early stoppage. Nah, think nah. Was early. Uh, me I too. Think me too. Can we see Kyle pull, I think pull it was that stoppage early. for us, bro? Curtis plays Tom Aspinall. I and agree at first glance. It looked like an early stoppage, but I will re watch it three it or four again, times. His legs were done. And even Tom was... said, and of course he's going to say this, but I believe him. 
he was like, it was not an early stoppage because only other thing that's happening is Curtis is going to sleep if he doesn't stop that. No, but, um, my whole my whole point is probably yeah. he's he was losing like three three four more right. seconds right. the 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 judge would, would stop. But my problem is problem probably Curtis Blade is never fighting for the belt again. Here it is. Here it is. Let's see. It. Let's watch it again. See his legs. Go look, back a little look, bit though. But let's, look let's at start his, with the feet on the feet okay. first. Yeah. Now, yeah let's see but look at his legs now. That's it. Just let it go. That's it. No, ah, it's just oh, just oh, yeah. Yeah. But see his leg when his leg got flat and then he tried to get up his legs again. His leg got flat again. I knew. Oh, he's over, bro. Yeah. And probably better and on Twitter, bro. Let's say the referee let it go a little bit more. He was just going to eat like five, yeah, yeah. Seven, seven more shots for right. no reason, I think. But, 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 but it's like, do you guys remember the fight? Uh, Shaky Congo and Pat Barry. Oh, yeah, that was a crazy Everybody fight. always remember that. But that's it. This is a title fight, heavyweight. Yeah. You know, if you stop the fight, probably he's never going to fight for the belt again. So yeah. you need to give time to recover because he's not going to, yeah. he's not going to be Bro, dead. But, but if you, but if you, if you see the fights, like when like the guy outside England fight an England guy, like at my fight, I wasn't the guy back, and the ref was bro, talking to me, "Hey, move! I'm yeah. gonna put it the fights." And man, I said, "Man, this guy's crazy. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm his. I'm the guy's back. How are you gonna? How are you gonna say I'm? You're gonna put the fights? Yeah. Stand, you're gonna stand up the fight?" Dude, there was another fight earlier it's on the crazy. card where they stood the fight up in like ten seconds. You know which fight I'm talking about? No. You know, yeah, that was crazy, about? man. The rap was, was crazy. Yeah, fight up so quickly. All right, here's a stoppage. One, so two, that was one, the one, two. Ah, man. That one, Curtis two, said that after he landed that, he threw out the oof. game plan. No. What, what, like, what right, game plan? Look at his leg. Look at his leg down. Look at his leg down again. See? That's you have to see the other If you look at the hips, the hips went down to ice. So... Let With me show that, you a better angle. No, the hips went down He twice. didn't even complain about that. So it was a good stoppage. But, but look I don't at his know. hips down. And now he boomed down again. Yeah. So he was out twice. Kyle, I'm sending you a better thing. I'm sending you a better angle to put on this TV. I like the one. But I, I mean, for sure, I want you guys to see this angle. You see this angle. Boom. Yeah. Just and it was a jab. The cross yeah. don't even connect. Yeah. I tried to watch it many times. Do you the think jab, there was a knockdown where he like he well, lose the, the jab, balance? The jab that yeah. make him lose the balance. So it was a jab, very very hard jab. Look at that jab, boom! Jab. Because was, the, 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 cross man, the, 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 the cross didn't touch him. The cross didn't touch him. The cross didn't yeah. touch. He he he, he, he slipped a little bit, I yeah. think. No, but he was coming forward and the jab hit him. But I you, yeah. he didn't see the jab and look at his hips down. Yeah. I What's the jab, man? Imagine that. Hey, I'll tell you one thing. I have no complaints. I won ten thousand dollars on that round <laughs> one. <game. laughs> I have no complaints on the stoppage, and believe me, I've had bad beats on stoppages but before. Hey, so people is getting crazy. Yeah, let me tell you something right now. People is getting crazy. Yeah. Oh, he would do this, that with John Jones, bro. John Jones' IQ is different. All right, so let's go. Let's go around the circle yeah, here. Go. I want to ask go. all three of you guys. If your life depended on it right now, and someone said you have to pick the winner of John Jones versus Tom Aspinall, if you win, you stay alive. If you lose the pick, your life is over. Boom. Who is your pick? I'm starting with Gilbert. John Jones. I go Jones. Yeah. I think I go Aspinall. 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 I go no, Aspinall. I like, I'm, I'm not I because li I like the guy because he's much. not a regular heavyweight. He's fast. I know. Yeah. Usually heavyweights are slow. And John I Jones is not on his prime anymore. John John Remember short. Dominique Reyes? He was touching him. Thiago right, Santos was right. touching him. Like in, at the end of his oh, career, yeah. he was not the same John Jones, 23 years old, yeah. knocking Shogun out. And now you have Aspinal. Mm -hmm. Aspinal is right now what John John used to be, I think. Because a heavyweight that is submissions from, from his back, right? I know. I just think John John is on a different level. IQ wise, watching fights. Yeah. I, I don't think that guy would touch it up, John Jones, like that. That that freaking eye poke, <laughs> he's gonna be the yeah. eye poke right there if he runs. <laughs> I just think John Jones. I don't know. I don't think that fight's gonna happen. It would be nice no, if that fight happen. happen but yeah. I, I just think John Jones like has nothing to prove. And but one fight that is going to happen is Aspinal versus Alex Pereira. You think so? I, I think, think that I think fight that is going to happen one hundred percent. I thought you, yeah. but Dana was so mad. <laughs> But you know, because I think that so mad I think the UFC doesn't want their yeah. superstar to go up yeah. a division and Why? get starched. Yeah. Why do you think Dana was so mad? Dana was mad because of this guy. 
I understand him, man. <laughs> because of this guy. No, nah, I'm joking. Nah, nah. I'm I joking. can I can understand. At first, nah, not at all. I, 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 no, if Dana is not mad at him, I am mad at him. <laughs> no, because but like, do not do not. He say he say never more 100k bonus. Dana might say. Yeah. Uh, now yeah, we fuck it, my brother. Yeah, I lost the 3,000 bonus. <laughs> now no more 100,000 bonus. But I'm joking, my brother. I, I I'm just joking. No, but I think he's a little. He's a kind of mad because the 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 car was very. You know, different like the time. Card. The card was in was different nice. time, yeah. and he was expecting more actions yes. on the fights. You yeah. know, but I, I can't understand. But I think let's, no, talk, I agree. let's, let's yeah. talk about the Makaya Manal cop fight because I really believe that that's the root of most of Dana's yeah, anger. One hundred percent. I feel like bro. when you have one thing, one hundred percent. I feel like when you have one thing that annoys you, then every other thing just makes it worse. You know, and I feel like that fight right there, there was such a big build up, and then they come out and they put on that type of performance. And obviously, we don't know all the things that went on in the background, but there's all these different types of rumors. The first rumor being that Makayev and his manager were just negotiating with the PFL in the middle of the UFC just, contract. He just said that it's not true. And they said that's not true. But then the one thing that Makayev did admit to is, and you guys tell me what you guys think about this, but Makayev tried to like settle and, and, and be peaceful, go take a picture with this guy, and then sucker punched him. So that was... Pretty pretty low in my opinion, bro. I mean, yeah, you know. So I was worried and he about admitted to that. Too. I was worried about Mokaev coming today on the podcast, <laughs> and we would have almost. to say, "Hey, bro, the bro." But actually, yeah. he did very bad, right? Yeah, like punching somebody on the back. I don't know pulling the shorts off. Yeah, that should have been automatic point deduction. And the John Jones just, technique. Yeah, he did a lot of things very blatant. Yeah, it was not was not um, a. And then Manel Cop, I think, broke his toe, right? And he wasn't the same the rest of the fight. So, I don't know. It was one of those fights that uh, you're expecting something to happen. Like everyone from a gambling perspective was like, "Oh, this fight's not going the distance. These guys hate 100%. each other." One hundred percent. And you bet that, and then next thing you know, what happens? It, it, it becomes. So you're saying? Yeah. So you're saying Dana White bet on one of those. Saying what? Dana White was betting on the fight. That's why he's mad. No, no. You know what I think? I, I just put that video on my on my Brazilian YouTube channel. Yeah. And, and it's funny because so these guys fought at the these guys fought at the at the PI, right? These guys fought at the press conference. They are almost going. Face off almost going. Before the fight, almost going. You know what reminds me? Reminds me of those dogs. You yeah. know, you have the... You, you ever saw the gate is on the way and one dog's on the other side. Ah, and yeah. the other dog is on the side. Ah, ah, and they open the gate. When they open... <laughs> when, when they open the gate, they just look at each other. Yeah. And like... Ah, and the, and the yeah. gate closed close again. Ah, ah, and open the gate. Nothing happened. That was literally the fight. And like, You guys could do the the, the Instagram stuff with yeah, this. Yeah. Yeah. But for sure, for 100%, it makes Dana so mad like me. Right. Because I think when the build-up is too much, when the guy's talking like... No, you know, like, the, the whole problem with, the, with yeah. this is you keep in... Brawling, right? Doing yeah. all the promotion, and then on the moment of the of let's go. No, Nothing but not happened. not this. And they have to when they are announcing, like security guard protecting. No, don't fight, don't fight. This is ridiculous, in my opinion. This is not. I, I was talking about with somebody at the gym today, and they say, "Hey, but this is a sport. They cannot fight like that. You have to be technical." And I say, "So don't do that, right?" Because yeah. if you acting like you're gonna yeah, yeah, yeah. F street fight, I understand what you're street saying. fight, my brother. Yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. because when you acting like yeah. that, and they say, okay, you touch gloves and you be like, uh, no, nah, yeah. that's not no. good. Yeah. Yeah. That's not good. You're never, well, you're never gonna, you're never gonna expect a fight that? from Robocop, man. Imagine. Always <laughs> gonna be a brother, man. I got dogs fight. <laughs> but, but I think that that everybody's expectation, man, those guys go crazy. I thought that would be a crazy I, fight. I thought it's going to sure. be Max Holloway the whole 15 yeah. minutes. But he did, he did. He did, he did, he did, he did bro, but nothing happened. I don't think you understand. I was, he did this and he this. Did. Bro, I was sit, standing <laughs> he did here. here? No, no, no. I was no. standing here when watching. When did security come? Yeah. Go. <laughs> I was standing here watching that fight, and I bet the fight to not go the distance. And when he did that, I was so fucking mad. <laughs> I was like, bro, you guys did nothing the whole fight and then you point to the ground like max holloway and then i i lost my ticket i was pissed wow. but but, but since was, you guys are talking in in, in mokaev 
Yeah. I want to ask Gregory if he saw something on the backstage, like they were fighting. You saw something? No, man. I I I saw the video they in the in the hotel, but the like I I was talking with Capé. I lo I love him. I, he's a very nice yeah, guy. He he was good. Mokaev you know? is a nice guy too. I, I didn't talk with him, yeah. but uh, Capé was more, more close. But they, you know. I just think, man, like, don't do that, bro. Like, fight in the right time. Yeah, I don't like that. Guys, a real fight. You know? a, a, you're a real fighter. If you go outside and not getting paid, that's the, the we all want yeah. to get paid. And it might think about it. That guy sucker punched the other guy. If TV, if if maybe this guy go there and get a big cut, the fight is off. No money. Yeah. No money. Vito before used to talk about that, right? Just because I'm a fighter, if somebody hit me on the car, I'm not gonna fight them. It's like a singer. If you, if yeah. he's not gonna sing it to you, right? Yeah. So you have to to keep the fighting on the on the on the, on the octagon. octagon. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's talk about the main event. We all wait a second. I think Moicano picked Leon, didn't he? He yes. did pick Leon. He did pick Leon. Yes. All right. Well, Gilbert and you I pick yes. Leon. Yeah. Leon, Leon. Aspinall. We messed up with Giga. Me, me and, Giga. and Moicano got Giga. Man, before before I talk about the main event, let, let's talk about Giga because yeah, I was yeah. really, really impressed it. with Far No Darling. Yeah. Me too. I was not I was even really impressed. I was not even disappointed at Giga no, because yeah. Giga felt good the first round. Yeah. But then, man, Brandon, uh, Arnold Allen keep moving to the side, keep moving to the side, get out of the kicks. And he was, man, throwing bombs at him, you know, just like... And he hurt Giga on the third couple round. Times, couple he could, times. He could he could have finished the fight. Couple times, He's right? Very close, and he yeah. don't even look for a takedown. He no. was just like, okay. right. No. And you know what I was thinking about is I don't know if you saw when Arnold Allen was asked. Someone asked him. They said, "Would you be interested in fighting Aljamain, or uh, who did he lose to just his last fight?" Max Holloway. No, the wrestler. Evlev. Uh, uh, Evlev. Right. So someone asked him. They said, "Would you be interested in fighting Aljamain or Evlev?" He said, "If I'm in, if I wanted my crotch sniffed, I would put a dirty sock in my pants and let <laughs> my dog come sniff it." So right when I saw that him say that, I started thinking about our podcast and how Giga was like, "Oh, he's gonna wrestle against me." He's and not. And I was like, wrestle. "Wait a second, this guy's not gonna wrestle. Yeah. That's not his mindset." And I was very impressed. Like he dropped the first round against Giga, but then it's just the pace in your yeah. face, the boxing, closing the distance. Getting out of this. It was very pace. impressive. He did a great job. No, but I, if you guys remember, I told you guys. I, I told you. He's not going to shoot for takedowns not, because yeah. he fought Max Holly five rounds. Yeah. He got beat. But I thought the kicks would be the difference Me on the too. fight. Me I too. thought the kicks. But that but, guy was running but to that, the side. He was doing a good job getting out of the kick yeah. and running. To the, he kept the whole fight moving, 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 moving. But that opened my mind to another thing in MMA. I think I think boxing is more is more important than kickboxing in MMA. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was talking. Yeah, I was yeah. talking with Vitor Belfort, and he said that he said, "Man, I like very time, very long time ago. I I, I used to talk, and I used to say that uh, the boxing will beat the, the the kickers guys because the movement, the footwork on the boxing is completely different. It's inside the MMA. It's the different the footwork, you know, the like angles. how the guys move. But the you angles. have to defend the the calf kick, right? It's the, it's the most dangerous. Stuff. But whenever you, you learn the footwork, yeah. you're gonna be able. It's to gonna get be out. hard. Yeah, that, but I mean, a guy because that, you can count, you can yeah, count with I, the hand. If we go back to the Volkanovski and Ilya Topuria fight, Volkanovski was trying to kick, was trying to kick, was trying to kick. Eventually, Topuria yeah. got him. And, and another da, thing da, da, that da, you da, have yeah. to realize is kicking is way more energy, energy wise. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, it's yeah. way more energy yeah. to kick. Yeah. And I was surprised because Giga is a very good kickboxer, yes. very high level. Yes. But Arnold Wallen was just defending and like punching him on the face. Yeah, but, but moving, he didn't stop moving. If you look at that fight, yeah. he was running out of the kicking and getting... The, the key was, yeah, the, the full work was the yeah, key. That full work was money. And then... I, I lost on Molly. I thought Molly McKinnon oh, nah, me too. Bro. Was gonna be me too. Me too. But <clears throat> you know what? You know what? I, uh, I was thinking about after. I'm like, if I ever see an underdog from fighting nerds, <laughs> I'm just blindly betting on them, bro. Yeah, I'm just but blindly she lost betting on them. Twice by knockout. She like, I, I, I don't know. I thought Molly was gonna win, but Bruna hurt her many times. Bruna looked bigger. Bruna could get she, the finish, yeah. but she. Round, That's what I'm saying. That's why Dana White was two seconds away. <laughs> For sure, that fight, Dana White was so mad looking at her because she no, no. hurt the girl many so, times. So, so since you were competing on the show, I want to ask you, 
about how much the 100k gives you, how do you call motivation, motivation, motivation to to fight do you think that the bonus give motivation to the fighter man like for me um i ne i always i think about the the if it's three rounds i think about the 15 minutes i don't think about what's going to happen before because that's make me more you know but always i'm going to looking for the finish and the, and the, when i think about the 100k that's making me more excited you know man i want to finish yeah. the fight yeah. but i need to fight i need i need to be smart in the same time you know but oh, for sure i always think about it the bonos even the 50k man like um, i was asking you because on ufc 300 when when they say 300k bonus i say fuck that <laughs> i can't lose that crazy. shit i don't give a shit yeah. i'll go for the fight of the night Everybody you know crazy. and i remember when he knocked me out, uh, he, he knocked me down <laughs> on the first i say fuck that i'm not losing that 300k <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah. so, so I think to me personally, I got yeah. motivated by that. Give right? me the best idea for an edit when yeah. you get knocked down, and then you start your th your think bubbles come out, and you start hearing about Dana talking about the 300k, yeah. and then you wake up, come off the ground. 100 percent, my brother. So that's why I was man. I don't be, no, because that's after give you the, a motivator for sure. Yeah. That's that's gonna give you motivator. But Dana sure. came out and was like, it does. He's like afterwards, he's like, it doesn't do anything. People yeah. fight the same way. Maybe it was the fact that it was the late card there was seven definitely was that definitely yeah, yeah the I, time I read that time the time was crazy yeah. but yeah. he didn't mess one guy i've petty freaking pinblet what's up freddy fling photo and and the call out and the call out yeah. bro, our guy i let me tell you something that guy showed up like people can say whatever they yeah. want but he's big he's a little longer i think you're taller than him right fucking him my brother bro no, no I'm, I'm right? tell me if i'm tripping but Patty had some fucking shoulders yeah. on him, bro. Short. Yeah. No, short. do you guys remember when the, the last week you say, hey, he's shredded, he's looking yeah. good. I say, this is Photoshop, my brother. <laughs> this motherfucker is eating hot dogs. He's not gonna... But then he was really in shape. Yeah, he was, yeah. that guy didn't eat a hot dog. No, no fucking shape, hot bro. dogs. What? And let me tell you something, Patty Pimblet. If you want the smoke, my brother, you be prepared because I'm gonna fuck you up, my brother. 100%. But... I have to hey. take the heads off. For sure. Yeah, yeah, Huge 100%. performance, you know? But we said it. We I said don't want to be a hater and say, yeah, no, he don't, he don't yeah. deserve. He you know great. what? Motherfucker hey. deserves to be on the top 15. He That's the great. truth. Hey, we he talked. He wake up with a number. Yeah. I didn't see, my brother. He's number 15, 15 right 15, now. He's still yeah. 15, my brother. Chill out. You know my kind of number 10, my brother. The fuck out, my brother. We still have work to do, my brother. You know the crazy thing? That guy kept his chin up. Confident. Throwing kicks. Don't care about Bobby Green. Bobby Green decided to shoot, bro. No, Bobby no, he didn't yeah, shoot. Yeah. He he got his leg. He, he came out afterwards and said he got his leg taken out and he fell right into the guillotine. He said he didn't intentionally shoot. Yeah, but he, I don't know, but he shoots. <laughs> I think, <laughs> I think he's tripping and you are tripping to say that. He <laughs> no, no, shoot. I don't think he would he, shoot on him. Why for sure he shoot. 100% he shoot. Uh, Jamie, I didn't, I didn't Jamie, pull it. that up, bro. Patty Kyle. versus Bobby, round one. Hey, but Kyle. let me tell you something. Since you're talking about Patty Pimblich, I think, I think you he's... You don't think he should? I promise no. you. No. Kyle, well, can I you think pull that should. round one up, bro? I think he should. But what Bobby I'm saying Green, is... Bobby Green get it. Bobby, Bobby Green shoot Patty for the takedown. Can you pull Come that on. up? I'm telling you, he didn't shoot. You watch it for again. For sure he shoot, bro. He didn't shoot, I promise you. Why would Bobby shoot in that fight, Not bro? Not my Bobby, he's king. Oh, true. It's King, I've, yeah. I no, now it's Bobby. If he had one, it's King. But now yeah, it's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now it's Bobby. Bro, I will <laughs> say, I will say brother, imagine how mad Bobby Green is right now, bro. bro. That guy is so mad. He's so and mad. he was the guy asking yeah. for the 100K. That should be fine. The first one, that should be fine. He's yeah. always like that. It was like just yeah. today, do you remember? No, no, yeah. let's go back. Okay, go back, team. Go back. His team was up. Like, he Scroll down. Care, See where it says... Yeah, yeah. Patty submit. Yeah, any of this. This is recap. Bro, and the guy... I, I will come back to that. After I will the say, because, do you, bro. Do you, don't, I think Patty did a really it's good a job. Photo, Patty man. did a really good job of staying out of boxing range. Yeah, probably. And just kicking him. He just stayed out of boxing range, just kept kicking him, and then he finally gave a was one of his legs got given out, and he fell right into the guillotine. Yeah, well, you have to see fight Patty's better. He, he tried to, but I don't know. But, but let me tell you something. Yeah. I want to ask you guys something about this fight because I think. Paddy Pimblet was playing games, mind games, my brother. 100%. Like, because he was saying he was depressed. You remember that? I think he was just saying stuff so he's, people think he would lose. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. He's very open about it. He, he, you know, he had a friend that committed suicide. He's always pushing. 
Maybe, but I don't. I don't. Think but you know what I mean. Ma I ma okay, okay, yeah. I, I got you. But maybe he say something like that so people, because I saw a lot of people saying, "Hey, I just bet on this motherfucker and he's talking about <laughs> being depressed. What the fuck? I'm gonna lose my money." Yeah. And then, but then, he his contract. He he was not contract with with UFC. And then Friday yeah. he got a new deal. How much money he makes? Oh, he got a lot of money for sure. Let's Give ask, me a number. Give it to me. Ask him, bro. I think he got about. Three, four hundred for sure. Because the guy, the guy's a star, bro. And then, like, like it or not, we like it. We don't mind. But I know a lot of people hating on him. But every time, the, every challenge that you see put in front of him, he was beating. Okay, that Jerry Gordon fight was a little bit worse. <clears throat> but now he showed up. Bobby Green was a top 15. Take man. down zero. See, in take it down five. zero, but one no, no. one 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 take one. down. That's true. Yeah, and look, yeah, and look yeah, what happened. Should. Take that For one. For sure, he should. Yeah. For yeah. sure, he should. But look, do you think uh, you know better than UFC, man? Look, the guy. I will <laughs> say, how does the UFC always? They never give people submission attempts. Whenever you see submission attempts, like with your eyes, then you look at the scorecards and it says Dana. zero sub attempts. Yeah, you I'm gonna call that? Dana. Yeah. Dana, Matt is just talking about the UFC all yeah, day. Yeah, they put him yeah. on my fight zero, but look, I tried to see. Go back, that. go back. He, he shoot. shoot, he shoot. I'm gonna tell shoot. you about what King Green go said. Go slow, go I, slow, go, go slow. Go back, go back, go back. What is that? Changing level when the guy's kicking, he tried to catch the kick. Go slow, James. He's going slow. He's going slow. What he shoot, he shoot. He shoot shoot. before the kick. I he agree, shoot for he sure. shot, but he said he didn't. He said he didn't. Nah, but he can say whatever he wants. Yeah. And he's still a single leg. And not, yeah. Bro, okay. and look at that transition was amazing. When was he like, tried, he didn't have a guillotine. Yeah. Was like the Nate leg, Diaz, remember? The on the old days? Yes, yes. Nate hey. Diaz on the old do, days. Do, Melvin Giller. Yeah. Hey. Coach Peregrino. Guess what, bro? I had wow. Patty round one. I won 10,000 on that right there. Wow. You had a... Round I need to win in round one. So Sex, tell me, if I fight Patty Pimblet, you put your money on him, my brother? Bro, I'm, 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 <laughs> bro, the generate game. I'm putting 25,000 on you so, if you fight Patty. Only 25? But let me I ask give you 100,000 and then you, you batch for me. Let me ask you an honest question. Huh. What do you think the betting odds would be in a hypothetical matchup? The guy you versus Patty. I think he should be the favorite. Why? Because you want to make some money? No, because he's better than me, brother. You know. <laughs> Look at that, what he did to Bobby Green, my brother. I will say his He stock, would finish money more stock comes. stock went way up, bro. Huh? You're depressed. I'm depressed, brother. Uh, I'm one fight away off my contract. Hey, but UFC. Look, no, but look, now we got to give it up to 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 Patty Pimblet. Because, yeah. first of all, he's a young guy, 29, yeah. crazy hype. People talking bad about the guy. Three the guy, million followers the on the guy, Instagram, my the brother. The guy had a little depressed, right? And then they all oh, want to yeah. give you a top 15 at home. A lot of pressure. Bob Green was calling him out, asked for the fight. He picked the fight at home, bro. A yeah. lot of pressure. Top 15, he go out there. Bro, he pushed the guy to sleep. He break the guy's arm. He got 200,000 yeah. bonus. He became a top 15. He called out money Moicano. Bro, yeah. this guy showed up Saturday we night. Show it up, show it up. Respect to him. People but like not him only call not. him out, he not only call me out. He said, we need to do the ultimate fight. And I yeah, agree with that. that. He He's nice going to that. be the first ultimate fighter with subtitles, my brother. Because I cannot <laughs> understand this motherfucker. <laughs> Maybe yeah. his English is worse than mine, but, my brother. But I like it because he <laughs> was respectful. He was nice. He was happy. He showed yeah. up. Not only put Bobby think, Green to his yeah. lip, broke the guy's arm too. Got that bonus number yeah. fifteen, man. That, that and be... then we're gonna do the show me the money team. Yeah. And Matchy is gonna be the jiu jitsu coach. <laughs> No, fuck that. We're losing all see? the we're losing all the fights. <laughs> did you see Patty, did you, <laughs> we're losing all the fights. Did you see what Patty said to Jared Gordon? What did he say? He, oh yeah. He said he yeah, yeah. he said it. That the was elevator, like, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, they, they mess you up again. <laughs> no, he said that was for Jared. He told Jared that was for him. Because Bobby headbutted him or whatever. Oh wow, that's cool. <laughs> I don't but know. No. So but uh let, let me talk serious about that. Patty Pimblich, uh, I'm planning and I'm doing I'm beating Benoit Saint-Denis on France, and then we talk business. But let me tell you something, FC. Let me tell you Show something. Show me the money. Me the Show me the fucking money, <laughs> and let's do it. Uh, he shows that he's for real. I'm not going to be his shitting on him. Jared God, Jared God fighting was terrible, but to finish Bobby Green like that is not easy. No, yeah. It's not fucking yeah, easy. Bobby yeah, Green is sure. a veteran. All the respect for, for Bobby Green, and... 
was a beautiful transition, so let's do it, my brother. I'm here 100%. Bobby hadn't been submitted, I think, since like 09 yeah, or something. Yeah. Or something like oh, that. Oh, another thing that Patty came out and said, I don't know if you guys saw this. He said he finished Bobby Green one second faster than Islam Makhachev. Oh, yeah, I saw his that's pretty, Yeah, that's pretty but crazy. Bobby Green was not shooting for takedowns on Islam Makhachev. <laughs> Let's be honest, right? I think that is a difference, right? Yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, yeah, that's but true. hey, but let, let's talk about the main event because he freaking... Hold on, before I have one question for Moikana. Yeah, yeah. If you do fight Patty, where would you want to fight him at? Like, what, oh, anywhere. What you gotta no, but like, if you could pick, where, where would Vegas. you want to fight him? Vegas, Vegas. Brazil. <laughs> But you know Brazil, the problem, Brazil, Brazil, no fucking money, my brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lula, Lula. All right, second Faz pick. Well, no, no. <laughs> second no. pick. What's your second pick? Vegas. Vegas, right? Vegas. T-Mobile. Please be Vegas. I want to come Vegas, Vegas would be back. crazy. I'll be so lucky. But I don't, I don't care. If I, 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 I would go to England. I would go to... Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. That's going to... Who Miami. Abu Dhabi? No taxes. Abu Dhabi, no, no taxes. taxes. Uh, but guess what? Yeah. That, that fight is happening. That's the fucking truth. Everybody knows about 100%. that. And I say by the end of next year, easily. Yeah, by then. But let me tell you something. <laughs> first, I'm not gonna. I'm beating Benoit Sunday, me, brother. That's yeah, for that's for sure. That that's for <laughs> sure. But then, fucking Patty Pimblet. That's going to be awesome, my brother. Let's go. Yeah, with a new contract. One hundred percent, my brother. Let's talk about no, numbers, guy, right? Yeah. No. Let's talk about numbers, my brother. No, this guy going to a mansion in Parkland after the fight again. Like, yeah. I man, the 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 the, the electric B one Parkland is crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I'm but, not gonna even talking about that. But let's go back because that main event. Yeah, man. Remember the name, man. Bilal Muhammad. Bilal. Muhammad. He said it when at the UFC 300, me and Maddie Morcano was fighting. We had a yeah. uh, a podcast in Vegas. What was it? The Red I was not at the podcast. Yeah, no, you, you were, were fighting. Being, being you were making fight, weight. Bro. So, bro, freaking Bilal Muhammad said it. I'm going to put a pace on this guy. I'm going to be on his face. He broke on that Kamaru Usman fight. The cold, his corners got to kind of reanimate him. So I'm going to put a pace on this guy. I'm going to be on his face. I'm going to wrestle him. I'm going to take him down. Everything that, if you guys go back on, on that podcast, everything that he said, he did. And at that moment, I was just like, I think this guy can win. But then I was kind of a little bit towards more to Leo, to Leon Edwards. And then, you know what? And then I start. I want to do a breakdown. And then I said, no, next week. And then I was kind of. Pushing, then I say, let me watch a couple of fights. And then I watch when I watch the fights, I still a little bit to Leon Edwards. Then I was looking at this guy's posts and story and his point, and I was looking. Freaking mm -hmm. Bilal Muhammad was in shape. Yeah. And I saw yeah, a couple that's... interviews. The way he was yeah. looking, the way he was saying, he was locked in. He was on. Yeah. And then I say, you know what? I think Bilal Muhammad is gonna win this fight. I call Ali and say Bilal is winning. I told you guys here, and I did mm -hmm. a breakdown. And I remember when I did the breakdown, I was saying, this guy, remember Randy Couture when he was fighting? Randy Couture was just going forward and for everybody, taking the guys down. If the guy don't get taken down, dirty box, they eventually taken down. Exactly what he did. Found. I said, bro, if Bala Mohammed's fight kind of Khabib, Chuck, uh, Randy Couture, he's going to win that fight. And then when, yeah. <laughs> when that main event start, he was rushing forward, jab, jab, jab. Beautiful thing you don't want to say, okay, we yeah. got a new champion. Yeah, he was. I, before, when I got there Monday, we was in training the same place. He got a gym, uh, some of his friends. And then I went there to training. Man, I saw Bilal there, man, training. He was fire, sparring. Right? He's sparring he Monday. Leveled, he leveled uh, up. Five rounds. Yeah. I saw him very focused. And then I talked with my friend, Tuko. I said, man, he's going to win. Yeah. I don't yeah, want to disrespect yeah. Bilal. But I will be honest, I never thought he would be champion. Brother. I thought he was going But that win. gives me inspiration because I still have time, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, Bilal, so Bilal yeah. broke the but curse. But what he did was unbelievable, Mary. Let me tell you something, yeah. my brother. Well, he, Crazy performance. Crazy. He broke the curse. He won the UFC welterweight title while being 36 years old. First fighter to do that. I guess, I guess not defended. Okay. Right, not defended, right? Yeah, so the no, first yeah. fighter to win it. Yeah, to win At 36, it. right? He landed nine of his 13 takedowns. Wow. Personal record. Slammed Leon on his head. Wow. 
One is an underdog. For, this is the key part for me, and this is what I put out in my breakdown video. His fifth straight fight as an underdog won. Wow. So five times in a row, odds makers made him an underdog, and he won five times straight. Yeah. It's pretty impressive. For yeah. sure. Yeah, if impressive. that don't inspire you, bro, this guy. And, it's, and, and that is the crazy thing for me because uh, when you, I've not even tried to compare that, but if, if you look at the UFC, right, mm -hmm. the UFC want to push Mohamed Mokaev to fight for the title. That Alex Perez fight, if he win and he goes on the mic and go crazy, ask him, yeah. he'll get that fight with Pantoja. That was the, I think that was the push from the UFC to make that fight happen. And then, Bilal Muhammad was totally, and then I, I, I think he tweeted out, like, yeah, it wasn't a good performance, right? Mokaev did that. Let me yeah. fight Bernard Roy Val. And he, he kind of talked himself out of the, 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 the fighting for the title. Oh, I'm too young, whatever. And on the other side, freaking Bilal Muhammad was fighting against the odds, being an underdog, beating everybody. UFC don't want to give him the title. He kept fighting. He kept, bro, right. talk to Dana. Dana promised him, and then whatever. UFC 300, they offered Leon to Hamza to another guy. But this guy eventually got the chance. Yeah. And then he showed up because I think at the end of the day, too, he knew if he wasn't that time, no way they're gonna give him a lot of yeah, time. Right, right, right. So the guy had so much will, went out there, executed a beautiful game plan, showed up, showed hard, yeah. showed a skill set. People were kind of landing on that first fight, but that was three years ago. Exactly. Yeah. And Bilal leveled up so much. Yeah. People were talking crap, oh, Canelo, blah, blah, blah. He out jabbed that guy, bro. The guy was so long, way more rich, and then he was out jabbing that guy. He was yeah. landing beautiful jabs, beautiful uppercuts. Uppercuts, couple good takedowns, and the pace was. And even when he was in a bad position, yeah, Leon Weather was on the insane. fourth round or the third round, was able to get his back. He was calm and he was composed. I think Bilal Mohammed mm. showed up like yeah. big, big time. What? What? Do, what do you guys think about that Leon's corner? Like yeah. he's screaming. You saw that he was crazy. At the <laughs> he was crazy. Round. Man. <laughs> You want me to fight for you, son? I'm going to fight for you, son. Man, you fucking good at this, man, brother. What's the same? Do you not? Do you not remember in the Vegas podcast that Bilal literally predicted that he was like Leon's corner is going to be trying to rally him? Yeah, but it literally happened. And I'm telling you, when I was wow. watching the fight go into the fifth round, because I'm holding all these Bilal tickets where. Like, I have 10 grand on him here, 5 grand here, 7 grand. The guy reached, right? 100,000. 100,000 over here. I want you to see my viewpoint here because I'm holding all these tickets on Bilal. It's going in the round five, and I hear Leon's coach giving him the speech, and I'm like, please do not let Leon find another round five finish. And then the last 40 seconds of the fight, it was a sweat. For sure. Bilal exactly. somehow gives up that position. Leon gets top position. And so raining elbows, bro. Yeah. I was sweating like crazy. Yeah. Wow. I was sweating like crazy, no but way. he got it done. At the end of the day, he outstruck Leon 68 to 47. Looked better in boxing. Like Look his boxing everywhere. exchanges looked better. Nine better takedowns. You remember two. last week when the, his coach was saying his boxing is better than Canelo? Yeah. yeah. What about now? <laughs> what you have to say? Great jabs. He right? made the point. Great jabs, great uppercut. Yeah. He hit, bro. He hurt Leon a couple of times on the feet, but. The coach has the, his box is better than Canelo. Yeah, he said his box. <laughs> what do you think, Greg? Oh man, I'm a Canelo's fan, bro. Come on. Come on. He was not doing that, right? No, <laughs> come on. Come on. All right, man. was there any other fights you guys want to cut before we go on to the, to the look ahead to this weekend? Any Anything on the prelims that you guys liked? We, there was the Nathaniel Wood Pineda fight, Jake Hadley oh, fight. Wood looked good, that was right? a good fight, too. Nathaniel and I know, I, 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 I say that on my YouTube channel. He was the lock of the card. What, what's your YouTube channel? Money Moicano, my brother. <laughs> and I say that like Nathaniel Woods, he, he is a very good fighter. Dog, yeah. Yeah. And I knew he was not losing to Pineda. So that, that was a... Uh, yeah, I had him by decision, bro. I hit that one. I needed that one too. So the, you the positive this week. Ah, let me tell well. something. He did really well, really well. Jake Hadley, he looked very, very good. Who's that? Who's that? Jake yeah. Hadley uh, fighting who? against the mini Brock Lesnar. I don't know what's his name. I didn't name. watch that fight. I didn't watch that one. Jake Hadley, is, he's like a 25, but he, he went up he to went 35. Up, yeah. And I MC? think I think he was even better. It's Galeri King. Yeah. Luto 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 Luto. That's the guy Patty was making fun of. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yes. That, that, that guy. That guy that Patty, Patty was a, uh, always a um, 
talking the crap with that guy in the yeah. in the bus. <laughs> yeah. And he, he do you know why? Because he was talking about the guy training with us, uh Gilbert. Uh Poe, his name? Oh Poe? yeah, Paul Hughes. Yeah. yeah, I think he Patty was like uh sits back and then he was talking about Poe or something, and the guy hurt. And the guy said, Hey, sh shut that shut your mouth, man. Don't talk about Poe. And they started that. Paul but what a kind of a kind of like a, a, a um <laughs> it's funny. He's very he funny. He over. called the guy a sausage. He was sausage. He was, <laughs> he was mushroom. He was <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a, it's all the language, right? <laughs> but we, guys, oh, oh, man. So I want to see that. I want to. Which means fight gonna with be, subtitles. You're gonna be best. BSD and uh, that fight is so crazy, be funny, man. bro. This guy, my Kano, you my Kano, my Kano, my Kano, you owe me money, lad. <laughs> I don't so know how good. to do that, man, but it's uh, fun. <laughs> but but overall, good card. 100%. I love the card. Well, I, I like the card. So I love the card. I thought it was very entertaining card. I know there was a lot of decisions, but even in some of those decisions, even the decisions were very entertaining. You know, very entertaining. Yeah. Very entertaining. Yeah. So yeah. All right, let's let's take a look. Let's kind of uh, do a quick breakdown of this weekend because I think it's a, also a very good card. Yeah, it's very good card, and we missed the the common event supposed to be. We sent the Luki against Nick Diaz, yeah. Oh, yeah. but we all know you cannot bring weed to Abu Dhabi. <laughs> so that's why I think Nick, Nick is not. <laughs> this is conspiracy guy smoke theory, like, yeah. bro. This guy smokes all day. So yeah. they that country, if he goes out there with the weed, if he get caught with the weed there, he go in jail. So I don't I think that was I was just sad for Vicente. Vicente was ready. Yeah. And it was a good comeback fight for him. But and now we got well, Shara Bula against Mihao. Or Lee J. Chad. Yeah. I killed this Shara Bula. What's the guy's name? Shara Bula's fighting who? Me, me how? Me how I like it. But like three, I don't want to talk about I, I like all to call fights. him let's, Michel Pereira son. Yeah. Please, let's not break down all the Michel fights. Pereira. I want to break down Hold on, maybe let's four her, fights. Let's only. work four our fights. way up the car, bro. Yeah, we, got, we got a shout out to our sponsor here, bro. Yes. We're yeah, using, bro. we're going to work our way up the card here. Show me the money. <laughs> All of these odds are brought to you by Fliff. Wow. I'm going to start off with... Here, let me, let me pull up one. No, that fight is going to be nice. Joel Alvarez against Man, on my YouTube Elvis channel, Brenner. it's like Lupi Godinez and I say Lupita Rodriguez, brother. <laughs> All right, let's start, with, <laughs> let's start with Tony Ferguson versus Michael No, that, that, is, that is better fights. We have time, bro. We can go through them. Let's go through them. There's some good fights on here. Okay. I want to ask you guys your opinion on this because right now... On the Fliff app, Michael Chiesa is a minus 670 favorite. Yeah. And Tony Ferguson is plus 385. You're thinking I'll put money on, on, on I will. Here's the only thing I will say, okay? Michael Chiesa finds ways to get submitted. He's been subbed in the USC like oh, five, Magidal. six, seven times, Magidal bro. Sub he gets darst. He gets... Magidal sub Chiesa. All I will say His is... His last three losses... All I will say is... He was finished no by darst. Right. And it's the best Kevin position Holland. of Tony Ferguson. Yeah, all I will say is that Vicente Luque, he should not be that big of a favorite here. No. So no. who you think is going to win? I yes. still think Michael Chiesa will win. You know why? Because you see Tony Ferguson, 26 and 10. Only on, on UFC is like 15 and 9. And eight of these defeats or seven is streaky, my brother. Seven. Seven. So he, he he's losing four years. Into he's Bobby fucking Green. losing. Yeah. And, and and not only losing, but getting beat. You know whose fault is that, right? Just, Just engage. 100%. <laughs> he destroyed 25. Oh, yeah. He really did. He destroyed 25. Just engage yeah. his fault. Yeah. So I just think 25 so took too much da damage. What was the guy much. named that was doing his uh, conditional workout? Uh, oh, David, David Goggins. Goggins. David Goggins. Yeah. <laughs> he's still training with that guy. Uh, <laughs> you ever nah, saw nah. Patty talking about that? You see Sean <laughs> Strickland? Who's going to carry the boats? <laughs> 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 Who's going to carry the boats? <laughs> Who's going to give you the boats? You see Sean Strickland like getting oh, into yeah. it with David Goggins, bro? But they 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 going back and forth. He's still going? I don't think so. But Sean Strickland just just beats everybody, bro. No, you saw his point <laughs> with, with Pereira again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was they nice. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. but the problem is, the, I don't like that. Right when you have a fight and then somebody try to, this David Goggins makes no sense <laughs> him being on the corner, right? No, I agree. Why he gonna teach you? Uh, run? No, and all these famous yeah. guys they go on the corner. The guy's losing. David yeah, Goggins yeah. Went, yeah. How is the other guy that went? Uh, uh, he uh, went the boy. No, and the other guy, um, Mark Zuke with, Mark Zuke with uh, uh, 
Brother, we are, we are on the YouTube, obviously. brother. Don't say yeah. that on YouTube. <laughs> They can cancel you. But Zuckerberg uh, in Lost. David Goggins Lost. And the guy that... that The movie star. The, oh, the, the guy that does a lot of movies. Yeah, movie, movie star. Boy. The movie star, yeah. Ah, Blackjack. Black, the, I, yeah, yeah, Blackjack, yeah. Blackjack. Yeah, yeah. The guy like, he went with, with the bear. So, end of story. <laughs> Don't ever bring a thing with Daniel. Bring your coaches. All right, well, let's... Uh, Kyle, if you can pull up Tony Ferguson's uh, record here. I want to. I want to go man. through Topology. this. Yes, topology. I want to go through this here because. But you're gonna throw money on Tony. I think you're going. I'm, I'm honest I to God considering it. a dog play here. I, I think that's a good play. Like if you ask me, who's going to win? Probably Kiz. But as a battle, I can't understand why. Yeah, I just think the numbers ridiculous, bro. Nothing crazy. <laughs> How much? Topology. I mean, topology. Let's more than a thousand or right? less than a thousand. Yeah. Uh, probably about a thousand. But I want to see what his submission prop pays. I think that's his only path wow. to victory. Oh, my know? gosh. Look at so if we look at Tony Ferguson, after losing by knockout in the fifth round to Justin Gagey, loses a decision to Oliveira, loses a decision to Dariush, TKO'd by the Michael Chandler, famous head kick, gets subbed by Nate Diaz. Man, what the fucking record? Subbed by Bobby Green in the third, and then loses by decision by Pat to Patty. I will say, I think that all the fighters he's lost to on that skid – I'm just a little bit higher of a skill set than yes. Kiesa. I think Kiesa is going to be bigger and stronger. Man, but Kiesa used to be very high level, right? Used to, yeah. But he's coming from a couple of loss too. If you if you pull up, Kiesa's Michael lost Kiesa to Luke, Kiesa, Luke Brady, and Holland. <coughs> three fight skid. Yeah. So, but they 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 are active fighters. They still fight and they still he competitive. Fought, he's not that active. This is if one you year. Look, look when he was his last fight. Yeah, look Kiesa when he was. fought. No, a year I mean ago. The, the the fighters that he lost, like Kevin you. Holland, pretty active. Vicente and Luki yeah, and no, who else? So that fight was yeah. and Sean Brady, that right? That fight was July 2023 yeah. with Kevin Holland, the last ago, yeah. one. Yeah. Sean Brady. When was Sean Brady? 21. Man. And he's Kevin not, Holland, yeah. 23. Case is not fighting very often. Let's see how many times he's been submitted. Submitted to Kevin Holland, Luke. Anthony Pettis. Anthony Pettis, Kevin Lee, uh, Masvidal. I mean, that's five, five fighters have submitted him in the UFC. Five, All five. I'm saying is Tony Ferguson has a... Has a, a long shot chance here to pull off a sub. Yeah. I really and do believe he that. He's not that confident on the striking too. He don't he don't yeah. stay there. He's just gonna Agreed. punch and run and move. I don't think he's the guy. I think the style, to be honest, is a very favorite style to Tony Ferguson. It's kind of like his last chance. Yeah. For, I think the words now for Tony Ferguson, my good my brother, is now or never. <laughs> Like you but go but there. look at that. Mokaev is winning. I don't know how many, and they throw him off. Crazy. And then Tony Ferguson, seven losses. Crazy. But he's still a fan favorite. Yes. So yeah. it doesn't matter if he lost. But I don't know. Maybe after like eight losses, and what do you think? They're going to cut him, right? <coughs> From uh, who? I yes. think he's the last. I think he. No, yeah. he's, he's the I same think he, number. He has yeah. seven loss streak. And then Mokaev has seven wins streak. streak. <laughs> and they cut Mokaev. Yeah. And they cut Mokaev. That is crazy. Streak. All right, let's move on to another fight here. I want to get your guys' opinion. Mackenzie Dern versus Lupe Godinez. I don't know. Very close bet in odds. Fliff has Mackenzie Dern as a slight minus 130 favorite. Godinez is the minus 105 underdog. Brother, you don't bet on, on that kind of fight. Who yes, you, you do. But who you pick? I, I, I pick Mackenzie fight, Dern. I pick Mackenzie too. Because she's, she's very Brazilian. high level on jiu-jitsu and yeah. her and opponent gonna gonna. And she's Brazilian. She's Brazilian too, yeah. But I will say, <laughs> did you good. see Lupi Godinha's last fight against Verna? Oh, she looked good. No, right? she 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 went to the, the distance and she held her own. You know, it was a close, it was kind of a close fight. So but that's I, the only I, thing that makes me question if Mackenzie Dern can. Yeah. If 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 Lupi keeps this on the feet, I think uh, I, I think she can win. But she, she's too. more a, a, a grappler, right? Wrestler, grappler. Yeah. Lupi, uh, no, she's a striker. Boxing, yeah. She's a striker. Yeah. She's a she's striker. Yeah. I Fuck know. my YouTube channel! I say she was a grappler. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, don't homework. trust your meme. <laughs> Look at Renato Morgan, like DC. He don't study. Look at <laughs> this guy. But then, so I got Mackenzie. You gonna put money in Mackenzie or no? Um, I like this fight to go the distance. I like I like underdog by decision here. It usually pays a good number. I think Luby by decision. Mackenzie does look good though. I don't know, but she's she lost. Well, she was on a two fights. She lost right? to Andrade. Yeah, and, and then to she lost to Amanda Lemos. 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 Yeah. 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 I just think Lupi can can win on the scorecards here if she can defend most of the takedowns. And then who's next there? So let me tell let me tell something. The you fight got, below. This is going to be the best fight of the night. I agree. Uh, let me read off, off the ads here. 
I'm Joel Alvarez is a monster, bro. <laughs> I agree. I agree. But with that. he haven't show up lately as much. This is going to be a great fight. But I think it's yeah. gonna be an amazing fight because both guys going to war. I don't think no one gonna shoot for takedown. I think it's gonna be an amazing. I fight. think Alvis Brenner is winning. Really? Uh, I go yeah. on the Brazilian too. Why are you picking the Brazilian? He's tough. He's a. Uh, no, both guys are tough. Yeah. That's gonna be a good. But I really think. But I think. I think uh, Alvis. Um, I don't know, man. Is he that, doesn't defend the takedowns. Who? It's the only thing. Uh, but I don't Joel think Joel Al Alvarez. I don't think both of these guys don't think so. Yeah. But do you remember Elvis Brennan? He fought Orobai, a mean, very tough grappler, right. and he sweep him two or three times. Got the back and yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so he was so tired that car, remember? He, he was so tired. Yeah, he yeah. definitely smoked some cigarettes. He was so nervous <laughs> at that. <laughs> but th but the, my problem with Joel Alvarez, even Mark Indiakies, he was controlling him on the ground. He he beat Jackiezzi, like they they have like a headbutt or stuff. Yeah. But Jackiezzi was controlling. He was shooting for takedown. Jackiezzi, say Jackiezzi. 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 Yes, my Jackiezzi. guy. <laughs> so I don't know. I think Elvis. Did Brennan, you train with that guy? He, he used to go to ATT. Long time ago, my brother. Yeah. The, let me tell you something. The first time that I got in ATT, they say, "Hey, spar that guy." The, was the first day was sparring. And they put me, at the time I was a 45, and they put me against Dia Keys, you know? And I don't I don't remember exactly what, what happened, but I think I take him down, and I was in the mount, and I tried to throw elbows on him, and my and my, my elbow, pad. elbow pad was very thin. 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 He got fucking mad, my brother. He got fucking <laughs> mad. You did? Mark Dia Keys. And he, st they, he stopped the training. He, was, he wanted to fight. And I said, but we're already fighting. <laughs> it was crazy. Well, the first day in ATT, my brother, yeah. we are training, we are training. He said, oh, okay, okay. No, and days. there was like a, a war. That, but yeah. that was like six years ago. I was a 45. That happened yeah. today too. I have a big elbow pads. I was pouring. And then the guy wanted to go hard. And then I, we start going hard. I don't care. And then he came a little close. I elbowed him so hard. And then he said, no elbow. <laughs> and I look at him and throw another <laughs> <line>. <laughs> <Bow>. <laughs> Uh, All right, so let's go our official pick for that fight. So scroll up to the Alvarez fight, uh, Kyle. Uh, I got so Joel Alvarez yeah. a minus one ninety favorite on Fliff. Elvis Brenner plus one sixty. Which way are you going, bro? That's a very Elvis good fight. Brenner by okay. underdog by by decision. Decision. I'm I'm very at fifty fifty on that one. I like yeah. I like Joel Alvarez a lot, but I like Elvis Brenner too. Alvarez is Ali's guy, right? Uh, Alvarez is a least guy, yeah. very nice guy. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna go too tall for the division, right? He's big, bro. Good, like six, good, strikes, two, six, good kicks, good knees. I'm gonna go Alvarez by decision. I think Brenner is a dog, he, bro. He's I don't gonna, know. yeah, two I, go, rounds I, go one. Brenner. I gotta go watch Brenner? this fight go again, Brenner. but it's a good fight. I don't know. I think it's gonna be one he of the he needs to work on his cardio. If Alvarez yeah. Brenner can work on his cardio and his oh, fighting AQ, good. IQ, yeah. because usually he doesn't. He just fight. He, he just, just fight. fight yeah. The same thing with Joel Alvarez. They they don't try to outpoint. That's why I think it's yeah. gonna be a great fight. Th yeah. That's why I think they it's going to be a great fight. Okay, they go going to stay. strike if the fight goes to the ground jiu jitsu all and they will stay. We're gonna stay. All you it's not gonna stay. be like. <laughs> it's not like it's not gonna be like Manel Cap and and. <laughs> I did that. Yeah, no. Nah. They're gonna fight. All right, I'm going Alvarez. I think all three of you guys are on Brenner. Uh, I'm Gilbert's like undecided. Gilbert's undecided. Yeah, I'm 50 feet. All right, let's move on. Kyle, we can scroll up. I want to talk through the Cheeto Vera fight versus Figgy, Oh, I like Figgy, that bro. fight a lot. Oh, this, this is a is great scrap. Fight. Now, I, like this I don't know if you guys fight. seen the footage, but Figgy's been training with the Dagestanis. A we know about Cheeto's, you know, his his weakness with his takedown yes. defense. Now, Cheeto right now is plus 135 as the underdog. Figgy is a minus Man, this 185 is, this favorite. Is a, that is a good This bet. is so hard to predict. He, the fight. This one, I, I don't think so. I think... I, Figueiredo is going to be able to, to win. I think Figueiredo is going to be faster. We know, I not like Chito Vera a lot, but I just think he's slow. You don't like slow. him? I like him a lot. Yeah. Nice guy. But I just think Figueiredo is too fast for his low start. And Figueiredo can grapple. And, yeah, his jiu-jitsu is yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. He subs he a sub yeah. couple guys. He's a great very round guy, yeah. Great everything. He can mix it up. Yeah. He was a great champion at... at, at at a flyweight, but then he decided to move up. He was big. He was always struggling with make weight. And I thought on that fight 
uh, who he fought the boxer. He fought uh, Robbie Fuentes. Robbie Font. I thought it was gonna be Robbie Fuentes. <laughs> Robbie Fuentes. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a hard fight, but he make it look easy. Easy, easy. I think if he mix it up, well, he can beat Chito, and then I think he's yeah. gonna be in a very good position because even though we know Chito just fought for the title because he was handpicked by a. Uh, O'Malley, but yeah. I, I do I do like the Davidson Figueroa chances right here. Let me tell you something, my brother. The level of disrespect against Davidson Figueiredo because I think he was a good champion. Great but champion. now, as a 135, he's even better. He's even better. He's even better. That's from, he's fast. He still, he still he's has He's even power. better, bro. Watch yeah. his fight against Robbie Fonte. He looked great. The takedowns on timing, the boxing. Great. The takedown got better yeah. when he moved up. Let me better. explain something to both of you, okay? When Cheeto Vera fought Rob Font, beat the brakes off of him. 271 strikes landed to 159. Rob Font fights Figgy, 45 to 46. Very close. It was a unanimous decision, but a lot closer of a fight. I know the four takedowns were a big part yeah, of that. Yeah, the takedowns were the difference. I'm telling you one thing, though. If I have to choose whose durability, oh, I'm taking I'm Cheeto sure. all day. No. And you have to believe that I agree. he's working on that takedown defense. I'm taking no. the underdog here in Cheeto, bro. Yeah, that's why I say it's a very hard fight to predict because Marlon Vera, usually, he walks forward. No, he yeah. goes forward. And put pressure. You remember remember that knee? Dominic Cruz. Remember the knee? Frankie Edgar. Mali. Mali. Yeah. yeah. He just... He just ate for he breakfast. Ate it, bro. Man, <laughs> that was crazy. He just like mm, that I, nice think I was live. I, nice dessert. Was the same yeah, day you fight. fight yeah. I was nice live, dessert. brother. You nice heard dessert. like was like <laughs> somebody opening a coconut. <laughs> <laughs> and he keep walking. Crazy, forward, brother. And I say, well, how this motherfucker is not dead? But what I'm saying <laughs> is nine yeah. losses by decision. That tells everything you need no, to know. That guy has a good team, but. Who was saying that that the chin has durability to you? It's not just you don't think you're just gonna keep walking yeah, yeah. forth forever. One it was day one of our guests, right? Who was it? And this guy's David coming, Feldman. Though. Was it Feldman? I don't fucking know. I'm making this up. <laughs> 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 I, think was, I think it was Giga. No, it was I Giga, think, right? I think it was Giga. Mike Perry. You were saying about Mike Perry. I think it was Giga yeah. was the one that said you're about the chin. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy. Man. Hey, you missing here, brother? You missing here? All right, official, official pick. I'm going Cheeto. Right, go what you guys I'm like going there. Davidson Figueiredo decision, Figueredo. my brother. Figueredo. I'm on an island again. All right, I'm on an island again. Let's go to the co-main event. But I'm not betting. If I quit bet, I would put betting. some money on him. I'm not what betting. about that money you gave me? Like? Not even if I could. No, I'm don't, not don't betting. I'm though. kidding. I'm kidding. Bro. Even if I could, I'm not Mike, can we scroll up to scroll up to the co-main event? All right. Shara Magomedov versus Mihal. I beat both in the same night. Yeah. Hey, I beat let's both. go. So like let's, like let's, let's, <laughs> yeah, let's let what Robocop break this one down. What do you think about down. the pirate Shasha Bullet? Shara Bullet. The what? The Shara Bullet. Bullet. <laughs> Shara Bullet Shara Magomedov. Man, you see what I did with the kicker. I don't like kickers. I will kill him. But I, he's a good guy. He's a good fighter. He's he's kicking and everything. Yeah, how about but, the other yeah. guy? But he, 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 he going down easy. Yeah, you know, yeah, easy you can take, take down. it down easy. Yeah. Easy take down. With easy take down, man. And how about me? How or but, so, but, but let me ask you. So, do you think UFC is protecting him from you? No, they they uh no, it's not protecting him. <laughs> Brother, you're supposed to talk shit now. <laughs> they, 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 that they was a setup, my brother. But but for me, but but, but you know what? For me, hey, it don't make sense. Fight hey, this guy. Let, I, let. I, I I'm on. I'm my eyes on three guys in the top. I want I first first one um Dolice second one easy money second easy one money. Jack Hermanson and the third one that one I that one I want a lot uh Paulo Costa Paulo Costa yeah. I would love to Do see you have that bad fight, blood bro. with Paulo Costa I don't no, have bad blood no. man but that's a good fight for me but I would love maybe it's time to start a bad blood but, but tell me <laughs> when someone make a question is these guys running for you what she should answer is this guy, you think the UFC is protecting this guy for you? What yeah, you are you asking? You have to say, they protect him. <laughs> Just give him his advice. <laughs> He's a fraud. <laughs> I'm going to check fraud no. him. You have to do that kind of stuff, right, Gilby? Yeah. Bro, what about, what about a guy like Vittori? Oh, he's Vittori, I think, I think he's, he's gonna injured. go back he just, just next he, year. He just had a yeah. surgery. He's yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm just yeah. looking through the rankings. I'm just looking at the guys ahead. Yeah. I'm like, man, but, but I would love this guy, so many Shara, of these fights. Shara Bullet, he's not ranked yet, right? No, no, no. ranked. But yeah. sometimes I think it's worth it to get fights like that. 100%. I think yeah. that would be a good fight for you. Like I say, you 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 get his hype. If you right? had to pick, if you had to pick one fight in your division, who would it be? 
You can pick Paulo Any, Costa, anybody. Anybody anybody right now? Yeah, yeah. I I pick Paulo Costa. Yeah, yeah, borrachinha. Yeah, yeah. Why? Why? Do you think you beat him easy? That fight, bro. Uh, I think. I think so. I think that's easy I, money. Easy I, money. I beat him easy. Yeah, yeah. I kill him. Easy money. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. I agree easy with money, that, bro. Yeah, but yeah, fight. he he have a lot. He 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 did a good job in the division, bef- yeah. but now you know his time is over. Yeah, I agree. And uh, who you like on that one? Shara Bula or Mihao? <laughs> Shara. Shara Bula. You think Shara Bula win? I think most likely he will win, but that's not an easy fight for him. Oh, no. Michal has a great cardio, bro. And his last yeah, fight, Michal, 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 why do you say Michal, bro? You don't know. You're not Michal, Polish. Bro. I think it's a, yeah. Mi, and yeah. Michal, brother. Michal. 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 So, his I last bet. fight, he lost by submission. No way Shara is finishing him, right? Yeah. Well, if, I think if he finds a big body shot, he could, we saw Michal go down when uh, yeah. Michal Pereira hit him with a big body shot. He's a little soft down there in the body area. I like Michal, bro. I think he's a great, he was a great yeah. overhand. Like, I like he can Michal put guys too. out. The thing about this fight that concerns me is him mentally. I don't know if you guys seen any of this on social media, but I don't know where his head's at mentally after some losses. He was talking about, he responded in the fan comments and saying things like, if I lose this fight, I'm done with sports forever. <laughs> and like, He's like, I probably will lose. Like, he's just talking really? negatively. Yeah. He said that? I saw him say, saw that on Instagram. I saw him say that. He's like, he's, I don't know if he's like being sarcastic, but he's like, I'll probably lose and I'll be done with sports forever. So I don't know where his head's at I mentally. Think he's just playing. Maybe, maybe. I think that's the third fight he talked like a short notice, right? Yeah. I think Michelle Pereira was short notice. Kevin Holland. Kevin Holland short notice. And this one. Short to be, but to be submitted by Kevin Holland this is crazy, right? Because Kevin Hall is not a big jiu-jitsu guy. He's a brawler. Kevin Hall is tap. Sh- sh- that he didn't tap. He yeah. didn't tap? He never ah, tapped. yeah, he broke it. Yeah. Kevin Hall is a jiu-jitsu, bro. You don't think? <laughs> Look, he's, ask, a, he's a black belt, ask, isn't he? Ask. He's a black belt? Yeah. I am a black belt, bro. Black belt doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> These <laughs> guys get jiu-jitsu. Kevin Hall had that Darce on Kiesa. So he's got good submission. Yeah, that's true. He submitted... Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I think he's I, 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 I submit. When he got battle Jack Array, he knocked out Jack <laughs> I submit this guy when I was 17 years yeah, old. Yeah, that's bro. true. <laughs> that's actually that's actually true, bro. <laughs> but know, but he know, was a giant know. already. <laughs> no, he was like 230 already, bro. But you know these guys are world champions, right? What, what, uh, purple what, belt, purple belt. Purple belt, world yeah. champion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're yeah. Champions. That's why I bet it, bro. You told me. <laughs> yeah. You told me he's worth that. You told me. Uh, ben, you're going to make the 100k. I'll bet the What's, what's I'll the official back pick back. here, bro? Where, where are we going with here? Who are you going? I'm going to back my guy, Mihal, bro, but I'm I'm not confident, though. It's a very close fight. I'm going Shara. I'm going Shara Mihal. 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 Nah, man, I'm going. Go. check. I'm, I'm going Shara. Yeah. yeah. I almost feel like the UFC is giving Shara. Like, they, they're kind of building Shara here. So do you think UFC is giving Shara? <laughs> no, it's just the same question. Coming, he's coming off of some. Fin- he's just coming off some finishes, lo- some losses by yeah. finish, and yeah. I think they're trying so, to build so, this but, dude but up. But why do you think UFC is trying to promote him? They need the guys over there. You that, see what that, his last Abu name Dhabi. ends with, bro? Ah, Mogamada. The Abu Dhabi yeah. chew, the Abu Dhabi money. But, 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 but he's not a grappler. No, no, that's why they want to promote him. You get that's you get right. the best of both worlds. You that's get that last name. Yeah. And you get striking. If you have a Dagestani good at striking. <laughs> yeah, in, in, his, in his first fight, uh, he fought uh, the Brazilian guy, right? Uh, what his name? Uh, uh, Tricoli or? Blindado. No. Blindado. No, Blindado. Blindado. He fought Blindado. And and, and Dana was mad, was kind of mad because Dana said, uh, you know, Dana thought he was more than he saw in the fight because yeah. Blindado took him down many times. And he was like hurt blindado. He st- even even he was in the ground, he was elbow on the stuff, he kicking from the floor. Yeah. You know, but yeah, for, I think in this fight, I'm going in. Yeah. Well, he, so right now, um, he's a plus 190 dog on Fliff. Uh, Shara is a minus 275 favorite. So he's a significant favorite in this spot here. Undefeated, 13 and a record. But this is a big, I think this is a big step up in competition for him. So we'll see how this goes, but let's let's move on to the main event here. Yes. One I'm very excited about, and I'll tell you one thing right now, bro. Corey Sanhagen plus two forty five against anybody feels disrespectful, and that just shows how good oddsmakers feel about Umar Nurmagomedov. 
minus 365 on Fliff right now. He, you know, he, he I think he was minus 300. He's ballooned all the way up to minus 365. It's pretty crazy to see Corey as this big of an underdog, especially after the dominant performance against Cheeto. This guy can do everything. He's got wrestling, grappling. He's got high level striking, very high fight IQ. So for him to be a two and a half to one underdog against anybody, you have to at least take a look at it. Gilbert, I'll go to you first. What do you think about this matchup, bro? It's a great uh, fight. I like Corey Sanhagen a lot. I think he's very good. Dangerous with the knees. Crazy IQ. I like that. He's a nerd, right? You ever saw his channel? Mm -hmm. He's a good channel, bro. Good channel. He's, he's a, a very, very good nice channel. channel. Yeah. He's a very... If no one saw it, go out yeah. there. Even the books that he said, the things, the mindset. Yeah. I like the guy. I start to lot. read a book because of him. Yeah. You like the book? Yeah, the <laughs> the the tennis. Nice. It's like um, it's a very good book. It teaches you like you don't have to do a movement and think about. I have to do that. You just have to flow. That that's what the book is about. You that's know? what I told you. Yeah. <laughs> the inner <laughs> game of tennis. The yeah, yeah, I heard about that book. The inner game of tennis. So, but but, but he's very very good. He's so smart. He's so good. I think his wrestling got better, his jiu-jitsu got better. He's taking this fight that he doesn't need, to be honest, he's number two. Why he's fighting number 10, that number 10 doesn't beat anyone in the top 15 yet. Uh, but so his I, name I think, is Norma Gomedal. I think Corey Sahega is a monster. Very, very good. Yeah. Might become a champion soon, but he's losing that night, my brother. He's fighting freaking Umar Norma Gomedal. This guy's a high-level striker as well. Plus, he's a Dagestani wrestling jiu-jitsu, so I don't think Omar no Margo Medov is losing that night. Again, the guy's danger. He can, I need can connect, something can connect, but I liked the last fight. No one wants to fight Omar. They end up getting a guy from Kazakhstan that was undefeated and monster. And remember what the guy did with him in the first, first round? The guy knocked him down bad. Yeah, and then he the, the crazy thing for me that he was hurt bad, and he still won that round. That was the that crazy for me because he was hurt real real bad. Mm -hmm. He got back and mauled the guy. Yeah, and I don't that was crazy. He thirty twenty seven him after getting after getting hurt, hurt in the hurt first round real bad. That was pretty impressive, so bro. After that, I think Umar will beat so Sahagan. Even if Sahagan maybe hurt him sometimes. But again, this guy's a good kicker, good striker. Gonna mix it up on that fight. And whenever he, he put Cody Sanhagen down, I think he's gonna be like, he's gonna have beat him on top. It's gonna be yeah. very hard for him. What do you maybe, like? what do you think? Maybe he get Better. a submission in there too. Who, Corey or yeah. Umar? Uh, Umar maybe get yeah. a submission in there. I think you, yeah. Gilbert break down so well. <laughs> but man, Cody is a very nice guy. I met him in, uh, in your fight. Nice guy, most Very guy. nice guy. Um, Crazy IQ. I like his. Team. Yeah, I like his. So it's a very maybe. dangerous fight for him, for sure. Like Gilbert said, but I'm still going with him. I think he's a very smart. Probably if the, he, if he, you know, working the best um, strategy for this fight, mm -hmm. he can, he can handle it. Yeah. So I'm going for Corey and Hagen. And the reach too. You have to yeah. consider him being underdog, and his yeah. reach is very, he's, he's very yeah. tall for the division. Yeah. So with that being yeah. said, who you pick? <laughs> no, <laughs> I knew that was coming, bro. No, Here's what I'll say. So Corey has been talking about if he wins this fight, he's saying that him versus Sean O'Malley is the 100%. best matchup you can make. You got two 100%. taller guys, strikers. He beating. But Sean. man, I feel like I feel like it's destiny to see Umar versus O'Malley. Like O'Malley thinks that's like the Connor versus Habib. Type of nah, line, that's, you know? it's like the low level corner versus Khabib, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what he, I mean. The show P. That, that's what he, that's what, it, that's how he feels. So I, <laughs> I'm torn. Corner the show P. I'm torn on this fight because I like. Uh, Ali Baba. Ali Baba, yeah. Ali. <laughs> I like the IQ of Sanhagen. I like the size. But man, Umar's undefeated. But one, one thing Gilbert say, like he say, he didn't. Beat nobody at the top 15, nobody. Mm -hmm. but nobody wants to fight him. No, yeah, it's not his fault. Yeah, uh, yeah. he was calling everyone out. Seven to no, like, man. Yo, bro, let me, guy, it, let me ask you guy. on the Sam Hagen, seven to no. Does that fight with Aljo where he got subbed? I know it was <laughs> a, little, a little time, but no, man, man, dog. Yeah, a little but time has passed since it happened. But does that give you any concerns uh, in scared, this matchup? It, it scare up Russian guys, but uh, they, 
Not really, to nobody's be honest, invisible. because yeah, no, nobody. I invisible. think nobody's invisible. Corey Sanhigue got so much better with right. every single loss that he had on the way. He improved so much. He got so much better. Yeah, those freaking flying knees and the kicks and the movement and the yeah. punches and the mentality. I, I, bro, I'm just, I'm not even going against Corey Sanhigue. Like I can't. Mm -hmm. I'm a fan. I like the guy very much. I think he, he's gonna be a champion. He's just that ghost that 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 like that guy over there that it's kind of like on his way that's yeah. the only why i'm picking umar because the guy's super young how old is he? he's very young then 17 and know yeah dagestani Khabib and, he, on his corner. and, and his impressive. name and his name is no Magomedov. so it's very yeah. hard to beat against that guy so with yeah. all that being said corey sanhagen is a monster but he's not beating these guys I, I'm, I hear you. I think I have to lean towards Umar too, but it's I don't like the better odds though. It's too expensive to get on him. I think you can maybe take Umar by decision, get a good number there. But all right, we have to build one small parlay before we finish up. Before we finish this card, so you want to get my parlay? I want to hear just from each of us, all four of us. So give me your most confident leg of the entire night. So it can be a fight to go the distance. It can be a fight to not go the distance. It can be a fighter to win. Any of those three things, give me your most confident thing. We'll start with Moicano. Uh, Anything on this card that you're like, go, this go shit low, ain't losing. Go lower, go lower. I don't have no fucking idea. Me go, too. go lower. Keep going, keep going. There you go. Would, ah, okay. Cauê Fernandes, I yeah. think he is a underdog. He's not fucking losing no, to no, this he's motherfucker. He's a big favorite. He's Who's a big favorite. Guy? He's not losing. But you can Who's, take him as your leg. Who's yeah. this guy? Uh, Cauê Fernandes, he's a training partner of... Jose Aldo. Inside information. Know, Inside man. information, He's my brother. In now. <laughs> and this motherfucker, Mohamed Diaz, is terrible, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking terrible. All right, leg number one. Leg Lucan number one. And Lucana's the other is going to take Fernandez minus Fernandez 380 on the money line. Plus, as a match, he's not losing to a loser. As a match, he's not losing no, to no, no. a loser. Only one leg. Which one you want? Which one you want? Ha no, as a match, he's not losing to. Pa yeah, parlay doesn't mean like multiples. But we each are picking, we're each each picking a leg. Ah, okay. So. But look, he's giving two legs. Two legs. two legs. Cauê Fernandes. <laughs> and right. Azamate, and I'm telling you, Azamate right. is right. not... The sponsor is happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the sponsor is happy. Hey, hey Fliffy. Legs. Hey, Fliffy. I'm going to tell you something. Free money advice, my brother. <laughs> Azamate plus money is fucking free money. All right. This is not financial advice. Just this is not there. financial advice. All right. Exactly. Morcana's going two legs. He's going Azamate plus 170. Fernandes minus 380. We'll move on to Gilbert. One pick on the card that's not losing, in your opinion. I'm going only on Azamat. Umar, it's just, uh, just Azamat. My lock, my leg is going to be Umar Numagomedov. It's the only one mm, that that's I That's terrible, sure. brother. That's terrible. He's going to win, bro. You don't okay, know? Right, you don't know? Let him take his pick. Let him take his pick. All right. You don't know, bro. That's nice so mark. Kyle, bro. Kyle, write these down, bro. We got Umar money line. And we got, which one are you going with? Azamat Magajimedov. Azamat money line. You got my leg. What you like, bro? Cop? Yeah, he did screw down on this. Scroll down a little, Kyle. Let's, let's give him some, some options just, here. Then just yeah. scroll down, scroll down. Get her prelims. Keep going slowly. Scroll down, brother. That's going to be a terrible oh, fight. You guys haven't done that yet. Gura, I know Gura. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no, no. no, no. Let me tell you something. Jay Abbott is not losing too. Yeah, Jay Abbott is not losing. No, no, no. That's my dog of the card is Rolando Bedoya, bro. <laughs> He's fucking losing. Oh, Rolando Bedoya. <laughs> Do you want to bet? Yeah. I can bet with you. <laughs> How much? How much? A hundred thousand. You like to? A hundred thousand. You want to bet? You want to bet? We'll bet non money. Bro, you can't bet no, money. No money. Hey. I can bet money hey, against hey. you. It's not. It's, I'm not platform. No, with, the, with each other, yeah, yeah it's fine. Of course. Really? Yeah. yeah. But hey, one thousand. Five hundred. Five hundred. I'll hey. take. I'll Hold take Rolando Bedoya. And, and, and a low kick. And a low kick. And a low kick. No, five hundred or low kick, my brother. You, <laughs> <laughs> you want money or you want to kick the leg, my brother? You bet the little kicky. Huh? All right. We'll Maybe I, I, I say... Body shot, body shot. Body shot, no, fuck your body shot. I want money. 500, bro, 500. 500. I go Bedoya. So, and guess what? He's go, an underdog. Why you go I'll just Bedoya? take him straight up with you. Why you go Bedoya? Of course, it's 500 versus 500. Bedoya went in the fire with uh, Khalil Roundtree. No, no, Clear no, no, no this Chaos Williams, Chaos. Chaos. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Two of five. Chaos Williams, bro. That's why you see the guy's lost, bro. Chaos. He's fucking lost. <laughs> did he not go the distance of Chaos? Yes, he did. Yeah, bro, but he, not, he doesn't shoot for takedowns. I don't care. He gonna bro. get pissed up but on no. the field. Jai Herbert? No, bro. Now he's, he's just going down. He's striker. He's getting... Rondo... Now he's going Bedoya down is getting division. in his face. 
He's going to make this a dog fight. And he's going to win. Do you think he's going to take him down? No, I think he's going to beat him up. Uh, on, on, on the, the feet? feet? Absolutely. Oh, hey, on the feet? Absolutely. On the feet? Jay Herbert's not that bad, bro. Jay Herbert's he's, good. He's good. He's good. Very technical. But remember, Bedoya, Bedoya was on 70. Bedoya. I know. That's he's, why I like this. That's why I like? Way better chin. Being the bigger, hydrated, my brother? Yeah. No chin? Bedoya money line, baby. That's my okay. dog of the week. 500, my brother. Let's see next week. That's your leg. That's, no, no, that's not my leg. I'll keep it No, up. I'll put my leg. My, I'm going good on. Good on, Kyle? Do, yeah. do, you Grand. don't know the other guy? Yes, Kuta de la Dizzy. I don't know, but... <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, let's recap here. Yeah. Guram money line. Uh, Gilbert has Umar, Umar money line. Moicano has Azamat, Azamat, Azamat money line. Scroll going, down, Kyle. Ain't. Scroll down. <laughs> I'm going with Shamil Ghazi on money line, bro. Dante Mays ain't winning that fight. Scroll up. Shamil Ghazi, yeah, bro. Hey, in that first Do you fight? remember him hey. against... Uh, Shamil? Hey. Against hey. Kutch Mentech? Yeah. Hey, hey. Yeah. hey. <laughs> Yeah. How bad is that first fight? Go go back a little bit, Kyle. First fight of the night. How bad is that fight? Terrible, my brother. <laughs> what? Which fight? That, that's going that to be a terrible fight, fight brother. Oh, Sadiq so Dumas? So, yeah. That's a yeah. good... Dumas by knockout might be a good pick there. I think Dennis... Against Dennis Tolua? Dennis... You like him? No, I, I kill Bro. him. You kill him? Ah, you're fine. Yeah, All right, I'm, I'm putting this parlaying, Morcano. I'm going to tell you how much it pays, right? Let's read up. Guram is minus... No, but then on the site, we cannot bet. No, no, no. This is just for Fliff. Ready? Guram is minus 245. Gavia is minus 325. Uh, Umar... Gaziev is not losing to Dante Omeo. That's true. I agree. True. I agree. That's my pick. Umar minus 340. What was what was yours? Uh, Guram. Guram, right? Guram, yes. I already have that one. Who am I missing? I'm one. missing Moicano. Moicano is... Uh, Moicano the other. has two. Moicano oh, no, has a match. As 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 a match. All right, you ready for Carlos this? Fernandes. This, this is Shamil Gazier. That guy for. Um, Coach Mente. Jose Struck. He, he lutou com, com. You guys ready for our parlay? Ah, o Gordon. Gordon. No, 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 no. no. Contendes. Oh. Uh, you guys oh, ready no, for our parlay? Yeah. Here's the four log. The, here's the four leg parlay. Everybody watching, you guys can tail this in the description on the Fliff app. Guram money line minus two forty five. Shamil Ghazi have minus three twenty five. Umar minus three forty and Azamat minus two fifty. That's four favorites. If all four of them win, a hundred dollar bet would pay you a total payout of three hundred and thirty three dollars. We will see if that hits. We'll see you next week if that parlay. If hits. that hits, FBA is gonna come here, my brother, to, <laughs> to check it out. That right, counts. Before we jump off, I gotta get your guys' opinion, Kyle. If you can put it on the screen. There's a huge PFL card. Just going to go through a couple, a couple. Uh, Ipa Castanha is not losing. My Sorry, brother. here, Gilbert. I'll let you do do your thing, Gilbert. Dakota is not losing. Dakota is a monster, bro. She's fucking good. She's amazing. Yeah, she's amazing. Yeah. Who is <laughs> go, Don't go, be too excited, my brother. Go to solve. Go to solve. Go to solve. Go to solve. Who's right. your pick here, Gilbert? Go to solve. Okay, we got. All right, now go to the next one, Kyle. Dakota, I think we're all in Dakota. Right, she's, cool. she's fucking cool. beast. Would, let me ask you guys a serious question about Dakota. Do you think she can beat the top five fighters in her division no. in the UFC? Because I, I do. think so. I do. I think so. She's a fucking beast. I'm telling Unbelievable you. Unbelievable striking. She I'm starts telling you, I saw, anyone in the UFC. If you, kickboxer. 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 Like she started Incredible. at like teen, on, on teen years. Like he has yeah. more than, she has more than 20 kickboxing she, fights. Yeah, she's technical and power though. Uh, has both. He's a unbelievable. All right, let's go to the next fight, Kyle. This one, or go to the Taylor Santos. Or no, Man, no, what's this one? Week, this guy's from Ceará, 100%, percent, bro. Tell me this guy's not from Ceará, <laughs> bro. No, I want to do it, man. Hey, what was it? Who do you like? Okay, <laughs> brother, 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 Kyle, go, go, go to the Google and ask, is, and Batore. B-A-T-O-R-E. Oh, yes. That's it. That's it. <laughs> He's that guy. He's the fucking same guy. Guys, brother, then you're never gonna understand oh, that this oh, motherfucker is the battle. <laughs> <laughs> Sacanagem. 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 
Alright, go back, go back. We gotta get through these pits. <laughs> so I'm here, going Gilbert. with Linton. Linton's my guy. Gotta yeah, go big swarm, big swarm. Yeah. Big swarm. Linton Vessel. Alright, moving uh, on. Taylor Santos. 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 Now, Moicano, would Santos or Dakota win? Because people say Santos. Santos. Santos, Santos people say Santos monster. can beat her. I don't agree. Santos can grapple with you. Santos is a. Monster. He is 135, right? Yeah. I think Dakota. I think I like Dakota, Santos, bro, Santos. against anybody. Santos had a tough fight with the with the with the champ Valentina. Valentina. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah I don't know why UFC cut she, her. Yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, All right, we'll, one there, or does we'll, we'll wrap up there. That's uh, I think those are the best fights on that card. I'm just telling you guys. Next week we'll be talking about how good Dakota is. I'm telling you right now, she's gonna starch anyone you put in front of her. Don't say that, bro. I'm telling you. Mark my words, bro. Mark my words. We will end there. We're, Gregory, thank you, my man, for coming on. We kind of tell the people what they need to do, bro. Thank you, brother. Congratulations on your fight. Thank you. Fucking subscribe to the channel and fuck Paddy Pimblich. Every time, type on the comment, fuck Paddy Pimblich. <laughs> Let's go. Us. <laughs>